Today's Business Journal Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. This painting by Ernest Ibsen, titled Mr. Antonio, was one of the favorites of Joseph Butler Jr., the founder of the Butler Institute of American Art. Over the years, the painting faded and collected dirt until a donor paid to have it conserved through the Butler's Adopt a Painting program. It's a prime example of the role museums play, says Executive Director of the Butler, Dr. Lou Zona. Everything that humans create ultimately turns to dust. It's a role of the museum to prevent that from happening anytime soon. To accomplish that goal, the Butler enlists the services of the McKay Art Conservation Laboratory in Oberlin. Painting conservator Stefan Dedicek has been working to conserve, not restore, paintings from the Butler since the 90s. Well, conservation is um, different from restoration. Restoration is a uh, way of, of uh, more interfering into the original artwork. And we try to preserve the original artwork in conservation. Conservation is more preservation oriented. It's I use for compensation of losses. As such, Dedicek uses only techniques that are reversible. After examining a work with an infrared camera, he determines how best to bring the painting back to what the original artist intended. In the case of the Oregon Trail, which he completed in June after three months of work, that meant reducing some of the discolored varnish. For other paintings, Dedicek has to replicate paint that has been lost using techniques and types of paint that are as close as possible to what the artist used. Paintings get damaged or age uh, in a different way. And uh, when the painting comes to us, there's a loss. So we have to recreate that loss to match their surroundings. Paintings are at their most vulnerable when being transported. These were all custom made. They're designed for specifically for specific paintings. Which is why Butler Registrar and Archivist Pat McCormick spends so much time worrying about crates. This one is amazing, this crate. I wish I could show you the inside of it. Um, it's for Berkeley Hendrix painting. There's actually another crate inside of it. And the crates, of which there are many, are not cheap. Whenever we toured uh, the permanent collection in 2000, Becky, who was the previous registrar, had about 53 crates built. It was probably about fifty dollars or $60,000. These are all paintings that are on loan to us. From his office in the basement, McCormick oversees the Butler's 20,000-piece collection with a massive computer database. Included in the records are a description, title. Also, how it's signed, if there's anything other like that might have been on the back of the painting. As you move back, the racks get wider apart so we can put painting and get objects that are, are thicker than like a standard frame. Paintings not on the museum floor are housed inside one of the butler's six climate controlled vaults, which ensures the painting's safety so long as they're inside. It's when they leave, says McCormick, that problems can arise. That happened to our Hartley when it got when it got to the Met. Um, part of it, it's called lifting, where the where the paint layer had actually lifted off the had actually lifted off the board. So, and that was, that was a temperature change. It's something Zona doesn't want to see happen to one of the Butler's most well-known pieces in Flanders Field, which is why it hasn't been moved since it was conserved 25 years ago. We get a lot of requests for that painting from various museums across the country. We won't lend it. It's just, it's, uh, it's too big. It's too unwieldy. Bad things can happen to it. 717 Credit Union, savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. 717 Credit Union, make your money work as hard as you do.